and welcome to our math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on sets, set notation and the operators that go with sets. In this video what we're going to do is we're going to discuss how to go between the set builder notation of a set and the roster stuff. So as a reminder the set builder is when you define a variable for all of the elements and then you describe what that means. It is a descriptive way of talking about a set versus roster style, which is actually listing everything off. So set builder could be, we're sending invitations to everybody on the baseball and the basketball teams. We're not in that saying who those people are, but it is known that there are elements who are the people on those teams. Roster style is doing it the other way around, where you actually list off who is getting the invitations. So if I wanted to do the roster style for math is cool, I start with a curly bracket. Curly brackets are the uh, grouping symbol for sets. And I start listing off the letters as a comma delimited list. And they're all capital math, like passwords is case sensitive. So I have a capital M comma, A comma, T, H, I, S, C, O, Let's go back to that example I was just talking about. You're sending out invitations to everybody who is on the baseball team and the basketball team because you want to have a big party for them. When you send out those invitations, if somebody is on both teams, you don't send them to invitations. That would be a waste of paper, time, resources. You would send them just one. And so that's what we're going to do here. There are two O's in the word cool. However, we don't send O to invitations. We just list the element O once in the roster style. So we don't do the second O, we go right to L, and then we have our roster style, style of set notation. Okay, for my next one, it says Y such that this line translates to such that. All right, Y such that y is a color of the rainbow so for this one i start with my curly bracket once again i do a comma delimited list red orange yellow green blue purple yes i could do a more extensive list but i'm going for the lazy route and just doing the basics all right i'm going to do two more of these sets um, they're going to be a little bit shorter since we now kind of have an idea of what's going on going from set builder to roster notation. The third example I'm going to do is um, Z such that Z is a multiple of three between zero and 15 and then I want to do V such that V is a vowel. Okay, so for this example, the word exclusive means you don't include the endpoints. You exclude them. So if we have a multiple of 3 between 0 and 15, excluding, so that can't be part of it and that can't be part of it. We start at three and we go three, six, nine, 12. And if V is a vowel, A, E, I, O, U. And sometimes Y. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've learned something about set builder notation versus roster notation for sets. I hope to see you on the next video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks.